I need honesty hour from you, Saints fans. If you were Mickey Loomis, what would you do with Alvin Kamara? Would you trade him away, or would you keep him and pay the man? Get in the comment section, share your thoughts, and let me know what you think. As we all know, on day three of mandatory minicamp, running back Alvin Kamara left practice early after walkthroughs due to a contract reason. So in today's video, we're going to take a deeper look and see what ESPN thinks, see what the experts are saying. And on top of that, I'm going to share my thoughts and give you what I believe the New Orleans Saints should do. So welcome into Saints Now by Chat Sports. As always, I'm your host, Trace Gerard. Let's dive into it. Jeremy Fowler of ESPN saying, I can confirm he missed the final day of minicamp and that was contract related. It's not that he missed the final day. He left early. So, Jeremy, come on, do better. He's got two years left on his deal. Do $11.8 million in cash this year. But the problem is next year he's due $25 million non-guaranteed. The Saints, there's no way they're going to pay that amount. And so I'm told Kamara is open to doing a reworked deal or a reworked two-year deal, strengthening his guarantees in year one. They've talked about it. So far, not a lot of momentum. Now, we'll see if something shakes out. He could be a threat to miss training camp, and if they don't get something done before late July. Now, let's dive into it, Saints fans. What should New Orleans do with AK-41? Quick reminder to subscribe to the channel because if any updates, good, bad, or ugly, happen around Alvin Kamara, we're going to let you know. We're going to keep you informed. So be a smarter Saints fan and lock us in today. And let's get a big-time shout-out to Chubby Shorts because it's summertime, Saints fans. Skies out, thighs out, and crack open a cold one and make any day feel like a Saturday. When you use our code CHAT to get 20% off when you visit ChubbyShorts.com. Now, Chubby's makes clothes for every moment and make every day feel like a vacation. And some people wear tuxedo t-shirts to show that they like to party. But for me, I rock Chubby shorts, swimsuits, and shirts by the pool, at the bar, or when I'm kicking it back with some homies. I mean, look at the flexibility I, I had in that video. The pants are stretchy, the pants are comfortable, and they look so damn good. And this past weekend, it was Father's Day, so I went and celebrated with my pops and hang out with the family. I was rocking my chubby's American flag swimsuit, wake surfing, celebrating the weekend, having some good time, having some good memories with my girlfriend and with our families. And I know that she's the better half, but I mean, when you look at me, the better half is definitely where I'm rocking those chubby shorts. So I've been rocking Chubby's and I've been wearing their products since I was in high school. I kid you not, you can go back on my social media accounts and look at me rocking American flag pants, really cool printed swimsuits, colorful, vibrant materials, and all sorts of fun stuff ever since I was just a wee little lad. They have the most comfortable shorts, swimsuits, pants, and polos, and they even got button-down shirts that'll have grandma praising how well you clean up and your girlfriend wanting to get down, fellas. It's always the weekend when you're rocking chubby shorts, and for a limited time, they're giving our viewers 20% off your order with our code CHAT. That's code C-H-A-T at chubbyshorts.com. One more time, code C-H-A-T at the link at the bottom of your screen, comment section, and description of this video. Support our show and tell them that we sent you by using the link. Don't blend in with the crowd. Stand out with chubbies. Now, for the record, I want to make something very, very clear. This is not a hit piece. This is not a get Alvin Kamara out of New Orleans. I want to keep Alvin Kamara with the New Orleans Saints. It makes too much sense to keep him around, and quite frankly, I think it would be very, very poor organizational malpractice to trade away a player of Alvin Kamara's caliber. But we also know this. Alvin Kamara wants to be a saint for life. He has not hidden away from that fact. He has not shied away from that idea. Even since dating back to 2023, he has vocally expressed his interest in staying with the Saints his entire career. I mean, look at this quote from last year after Cam Jordan signed his contract extension to make him a saint for life. He said, I want a lifetime contract. 
I want to be here forever, and I think y'all, being the media, need to put some pressure on Mickey, how y'all did for Cam when he said that. And I couldn't agree more. I mean, I think Alvin Kamara is a player who deserves to be a saint for life. And I think that he is a player that can offer so many good things in this offense. And for years to come, even if it's not high production, he can offer high leadership, very quality uh, mentorship. And he can also be a guy who can just command attention from opposing defenses. And kind of an off-the-ball question, or an off-the-wall question, if you will, I want to know who's your favorite Saints running back of all time because there's a really good history, and I think Alvin Kamara is in the conversation for one of the best in franchise history. I mean, you got guys like Duke McAllister, excuse me, I almost said Duke, Deuce McAllister, Reggie Bush, you got Mark Ingram, Alvin Kamara. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, so let me know who's your favorite running back in Saints franchise history. And I will say one thing really quick. I, I do believe that the production needs to improve. It's, it, the production hasn't been good for Kamara. And for a guy who's making the second most annual money across all running backs in the league, it's unacceptable, quite frankly. I mean, look at the highest paid running backs rankings. That's what you see on the left. Christian McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara, Jonathan Taylor, Saquon Barkley, and Josh Jacobs. All five of those are the highest paid running backs per their annual salary. Now... The rushing yards and production doesn't quite line up, except for Christian McCaffrey, who's the highest paid running back, and he is the highest producing running back. Now, Alvin Kamara, he's the second highest paid, but he had the 33rd best production. I mean, that's just atrocious. It, and you, the list goes on to the top 10. I mean, you got guys on here who are getting over 1,000 yards, but they're not even top 10 in money. Now, Aaron Jones, for example, top 10 in, per, in, in money, but he's 36 in production. Yeah, that's not good either, but he's not number two. There's a sizable difference in terms of the amount of money Alvin Kamara and Aaron Jones are making this year. And I do believe that AK will be better in 2024, and there's a lot of reasons for that. And I've narrowed it down to four. I think that these four reasons are the main arguing points for why Kamara will be better this season. He's still a great athlete. I mean, you guys have seen the clips from minicamp this year. You guys saw him run the ball last year, and he was really, really smooth. I won't say effective and productive, but he still showed burst. He still showed a lot of athleticism. He's a very smooth runner of the football, and everything he does, he just glides on the turf. It's actually mesmerizing to watch. He's also a really smart player. Like, in between the ears, he's very, very educated, and he has a high IQ when it comes to football and an understanding of what or what to do in order to succeed at the highest level. Now, obviously, the yards per carry last year were down, but I blame part of that on the offensive line and part of that on the offensive system from last year. Clint Kubiak's offense wants to be grounded. It wants to run the football, and it wants to involve Alvin Kamara, not just as a ball carrier, but as a receiving back as well. And we all know that the offense is going to run through Alvin Kamara and Taysom Hill, and I think that's how it should work. Obviously, getting guys like Chris Olave extremely involved, as well as Rashid Shahid. But the other thing around it is the improved offensive line. And I have a question mark around that because we don't quite know exactly whether or not they're going to be better. I think that the unit and I think that the talent on the team is better than what it was last year. I think that they have a better idea of what they're doing, and I think they have a better plan of action, if that makes sense. And I think that the scheme that Clint Kubiak's running with that wide zone scheme, it's going to work with this offensive line, and they're getting more athletic, they're getting younger, they're getting more talented, and they're learning what to do in a modern offense in the NFL. And for me, trading Alvin Kamara is just not an option, and even if the offensive line isn't better, Alvin Kamara is still a player who can succeed in this kind of system and in this kind of role. And again, I go back to having that question mark around it. We don't know what the offensive line is going to look like. But why would you keep Alvin Kamara with some question marks? Because you're not going to get good trade compensation. I mean, to be quite honest, I think the best thing you could get, a fifth-round pick, maybe? I mean, you're, he's making $25-plus million plus next year unless he's restructured. And if he's restructured, he's not going anywhere. And if you ask me, I don't think it makes sense to trade away a player like Alvin Kamara, who is extremely talented, for pennies on a dollar. I mean, it just does not make sense. And like I've said over the past couple of minutes, he will thrive in this new offense. 
It's quarterback friendly, it's running back friendly, it's modern, and it's new. It's something that the Saints haven't had since the George Bush administration, a new offense. And that alone is going to give Alvin Kamara a little bit of extra pizzazz, or a little extra mustard, if you will, on his runs. And I think that it's going to be a lot more effective. And a big reason I like him is because he's one of the biggest vocal team leaders. I mean, he's holding himself accountable. He's holding his players or his teammates. He's holding his coaching staff accountable. He's saying the right things. And everyone in the offense and everyone in the locker room respects and understands Alvin Kamara in doing this, not hold out because he's not holding out, but, you know, leaving camp early and asking for money. Everyone has responded well to this, whether it's defensive players or even the quarterback and Derek Carr. So I think that that just is a testament to what Alvin Kamara means to this football team and what it means to the cohesiveness and to the success of that unit. So if you love Alvin Kamara, I need you to type 41 in the comment section and show him some love. I love me some AK-41, and I do think that the Saints will keep him this year. But we had to explore the ideas of what could go down. I mean, this is my job, guys. I may, I, may, I may be a guy who you know, likes getting their opinions. I may be somebody who thinks that the shows are good. But at the end of the day, this is my job. I have to talk about these kind of things. I have to discuss different possibilities because we don't know what's going to happen until it happens. And my final thoughts, it's best for both sides, for Alvin Kamara to stick around. I want to see the Saints get a contract done quickly. I want to see them be, you know, uh, work with some with some urgency. Work with a sense of urgency and get this deal done so, you know, it doesn't linger on into training camp. We don't have any further issues and we can just put all of this to rest and we can just go and play some football. I'm ready to see Alvin Kamara dominate with the Saints offense and I hope you are as well. And quick reminder, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Feel free to join our family of almost 29,000 Saints fans. Y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time.